first thing to do is to create a new file, then enable the grid lock and then double click the grid and change the grid space into the same size, both X and Y to the same size as the material we're going to cut from. Click on OK. Next I will draw the, uh, the base of the case, uh, which is going to be exactly the same size as the top as well, so we use the same shape for the top now. It's up to you what size, let's go for there. And what I'll also do is draw one of the sides. And it must be the same width as the base. And then this defines the height of the box. Let's just quickly take a measurement. Okay, so the box is going to be 48 millimeters high. Um, if that's not the size you wanted, you can click it, adjust it to the size that you do want, just like that. So now it's going to be 68 millimeters high. Um, this is going to be one side. As I said earlier, this, uh, this rather, this is the base and also going to be the top. Uh, this, so this is one side, and we need a similar um, height side both here as well and also here and down here on the bottom. So 68 millimeters. Um, if you look down towards the bottom when I'm uh, drawing this, so let's click, click the rectangle tool and I'll just click once now using the uh, keys on the keyboard. Hopefully you can see down the bottom it's incrementing a value. And now that says 40, and I go left there. there now, now that says 68, so press enter. That's now exactly, that distance is exactly the same as, let's just get the dimension tool there. That's also 68, so you need to do that. Now I don't want those dimension lines on. They can get in my way, so I'll just Click that and delete that. Click it and delete it. Now, to do a good job of this and to make it easy for yourself, you want to keep things as symmetrical as you possibly can. Now, there's no point in, say, um, drawing the, the one side and then completely redrawing the other side. Hopefully, what we'll be able to do is to draw one side and then copy it. So, this side here, ultimately, I'm going to see if I can copy it and paste it down here and this side. Uh, once it's drawn, I will hopefully be able to copy it that side, and then uh, this, which I've defined as a base earlier, uh, I'll be able to copy that, and that will be a top. So I need to somehow get uh, this side to interlock uh, with the base. Now I'm going to use a rectangle, and I'm trying to get this symmetrical, so I'm trying to set it an even number in from each side. Now let's just uh, view all, oh, it just zooms in. You'll notice, hopefully you can notice, one, two, three, four, five, oh, hang on, one, two, three, four, five, six. So there's six there, and then there's six there on that side, uh, which is nice. It is going to be much easier for you if you keep it symmetrical. I'll press and hold the um, delete button there and I can choose that one and I'm, I had to click several times there the reason for that is because there was more than one line um, if I were just to click there it would delete it straight away but because remember I put um, the rectangle and then I butted another rectangle up against it it's more than one line hopefully that makes sense uh, so I don't know whether you can understand this now, but this this uh, shape here has a cutout, and then this is going to fold back or lift back, so it actually fits into there. It's a little bit difficult to uh, visualize for some people, but um, hopefully you will start to understand. Now I'm going to go down six again. It doesn't have to be six, but uh, let's. I think that's probably going to make it. Uh, nice look about proportion about right so I draw that rectangle there and I'm going to delete there okay so notice uh, this side 
goes down into the base and then this one goes into the base as well. So that seems about right. Um, now, next bit, uh, keeping in line, so I, I want to make the top bit of this symmetrical with the bottom bit, and then I'll delete that. Okay, so uh, hopefully you notice the symmetry of this thing now, that the top edge looks just the same as the bottom edge. And it's going to make your life much easier also if you have um, this uh, with similar symmetry as well. So let's do that. Delete like that. So um, if this one folds forward, this one somehow, this left hand side is somehow going to have to interlock with this as well. So to do that, Let's take out, say, uh, four of those and four of those. And now let's just delete those bits. And then I have to think. And so uh, because I took out four bits along here, I'm going to have to um, have four bits here. And then go like that, and I think that's correct. Now, it'd be a really good idea just to save, and we just call it a uh, simple box. So, do save because um, sometimes you're going to completely mess things up, and you're going to want to go back. Now, to me, this looks like that corner is probably correct, and um, because of the symmetry. Um, it would be a good idea to just copy that and then paste that there. Notice there was a little fragment over there which we can get rid of. Um, that looks looks right, I think. Say so sometimes you're going to mess this up. Oh, now that side needs to be made symmetrical with the left hand side so like that let's just zoom to uh, all again and then I'm just going to study it so just wait a moment and I believe that looks all right so let's just zoom out now this top part here is going to be, uh, when I say top part, this is not actually the top of the box, although it could be, depends which way around the box is, but this space in the uppermost part of the drawing. I need to copy that. And I'm just going to study it just for one moment. Let's just put it down there for a moment. And um, this side is supposed to be fully symmetrical, so this top bit here needs to be replicated down here. So let's delete those bits. So in actual fact, of course, what I failed to do was to uh, finish off the side before I copied it over to here. That's my mistake. So let's get rid of that. Let's get rid of that. So you don't want to keep on redrawing things. It's far easier if you just copy, can copy them across. Let's just copy that. Let's paste it. I just do Control C, Control V. There we go. And just delete. I mean, you're going to make mistakes. I make mistakes. But you're going to make mistakes, okay? Uh, Control S just to save it because it looks okay at the moment. And then I will have a quick look, see what I need to do next. I believe then if I put this in here, remember the top and the bottom should look the same. Should be symmetrical. That. And once again, I'm going to study it. 
and see if I've made any mistakes, obvious mistakes anywhere. Okay, it still looks good to me. Uh, next thing I'd like to do, I want to uh, duplicate this, which I defined as a base earlier, as a top. So uh, let's just select all, Control A to select all. Let's just nudge it over there. Now, if you've got room, great, you can put it there. If you don't have room, set up, drawing, layout. You can change paper size. So uh, I think we're on A3 at the moment, so change to A2, that would be twice as big. Here we go, Control A, select all. Just pop it up there. But do remember all the time, leave the grid lock on. If you uh, take grid lock off, you've got a problem. We will have a problem. And then Control C to copy, Control V to paste. So that's going to be the, well, it could be the top, that could be the base, and then the you know right hand side, left hand side, the back, and then the front. If you want to be efficient when you're cutting, so you know if you're going to laser cut this, that's going to be waste of material that gap there. So let's just uh, put that together. Whoa, got that wrong. Yep, that is correct. Save that. Let's just zoom in on all. And then if you wanted to add some features to it, whatever it's going to be, like a switch, say, 